All right, welcome Kipsters to this next video on circle relationships. So we're looking at the relationships between certain parts of a circle. Uh, bringing back what the definition of a circle is, is it is a set of points that are the same distance, we call them equidistant, from the center point. And looking at this circle, the part of the circle that I'm highlighting right now is the radius. The radius is the line segment that goes from center to any point on the circle. I can draw another radius right here, or another radius right there. Any line segment that goes from center to another point on the circle is called a radius. Okay. Looking at this circle part right here, this is a line segment that connects two points on the circle and passes through the center. That will be called the diameter. And finally, one last circle part is the distance around the circle. And the distance around the circle will be called the circumference. And so once we know what those parts are, there's actually a really interesting relationship between the radius and the diameter, as well as between the diameter and the circumference. And we'll quickly see the relationship by looking at a diagram that we're going to make right now. All right, so this line segment that I'm making, imagine that it's the radius. And this line segment I'm making, imagine that it is the diameter. So this is the radius, this is the diameter, and there's one more length that I'm going to draw. And that length is around the entire circle, called the circumference. Okay. Now there's a relationship between the radius and the diameter. So if you're looking at this, this is what we call a flow chart. It shows you the relationships between certain parts. All right. So if I'm given the radius and I'm being asked to find what the diameter is, all I'm going to do is multiply the radius by 2 to get the diameter. And if I'm given the diameter, let's see if you can figure it out. I'm doing the inverse operation to the diameter. So I'm going to divide it by 2 to find the radius. Okay, so let's say, for example, I'm being told that the radius equals 5 centimeters. The radius is 5 centimeters. I'm going to multiply it by 2 to get a diameter of 10 centimeters. And say I have a diameter of 5 centimeters. I'm going to divide that diameter by 2. And if I divide it by 2, I actually get 2.5, as we can see right here. Okay? So if you're given the radius, Multiply it by 2 to get the diameter. If you give them the diameter, divide the diameter by 2 to get the radius. All right. Taking care of that relationship. There's one more relationship to go. And that is between the diameter and the circumference. Well, going back, we see the diameter is this length connecting two points on the circle and passing through the center. And the circumference is the length around the circle. So the diameter is going to be multiplied by about 3. And in mathematics, there's a number that is about 3. We call that pi. Pi is a 3.14159, and it keeps on going. We call this an irrational number. An irrational number is a number that cannot be expressed as a fraction. Um, and does not repeat uh, in terms of its decimal patterns and it never ends okay so that's why pi is irrational and we'll represent that by the symbol pi it's about three if you look at it it looks almost like the estimation sign like the about and if you see here there's about one two three so you can think of it as about three if you're given the diameter you multiply it by 3 by, by pi to get the circumference, 
And if you're given the circumference of a circle, you'll divide it by pi to get the diameter. All right? Interestingly enough, there are some formulas that come um, out of this relationship between circumference and diameter. Diameter is about, um, it is about three times less than the circumference. So if you're trying to find the circumference and you're given the radius, you will multiply the radius by 2, and then you'll multiply that by pi to get to the circumference. So the formula is 2 pi r. In other words, that means 2 times pi times r. If ever there's no operation in between um, letters, you'll notice that there's multiplication. And if ever there's no operation between the number and the variables, you'll notice there's multiplication as well. So this is the formula, 2 times pi times r. And you can see the pattern here. If you're given the radius, multiply it by 2, then multiply it by pi. If, however, you're given the diameter, then 2 times the radius is the diameter. So all you're going to do is multiply the diameter by pi, and you'll get um, what your circumference is going to be. All right? Those are the relationships that we'll talk about for now. And hope you enjoyed this presentation on relationships between circle parts. Thank you.